acho que a Thalia vai vir aqui. É. Vai deixar o Ghost sem ela ver. Ai. It seems that Varus is not a very good pick in the current meta. However, believe me, there are still many players who can hyper carry even the most challenging games. Today, we are going to take a closer look at how they do that. Make sure to leave a like, and let's get back to this guy who takes everyone down one by one. And the best part is that he's not even moving. It's 45 minutes of a very close game. Enemies just lost the Elder buff, and their last hope might be to fight for the Nash or buff. That's why they instantly rushed in that direction. However, the fight might not be a good idea if the carry turned into an execution machine. Something is not going right in this game. I guess we can all realize why the red team is losing so hard when there is a huge 5v5 battle. But no one even cares to take down the first Varus when he stands almost in the middle of the fight. But I guess karma was more important. Oh, I'm taking it right there, though. All right, they're chunked. It's okay, they're getting chunked. Maddie went in way too early. All right. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? You're good, you're good. Let's not forget that AP Varus is still alive, and now with Storm Surge, he is even more broken. Hyun is playing on the top lane, and Varus is really free farm for the enemy Twisted Fate. All he needs to do is teleport behind and one-shot him down, otherwise it might not be so easy anymore. It's a really deadly moment for the blue side bot lane. However, it's season 14 with new possibilities. Monsieur Cody hasn't used Herald from the pocket yet, and now is the best moment to do it, but not to take down the enemy turret. This time, Leshek decided to make a risky move by trying to solo take the dragon. Even if the red team is hard split, there is still a Master Yi alive, hanging around. And if that's not enough, Master Yi is currently the most fed champion in the enemy team. Oh, 
Olha. Ah, tô horrível aqui, mano. Tá, as fogas. I guess that Krefeke exactly knows what Varus is used for. He's one level behind Jin, but he doesn't care and goes all in. Jin was prepared for those types of engages. That's why he took cleanse. But it was not enough when we have some great sniping skills. It was not the best timing to engage as Thresh, but apparently, he didn't know that there is an enemy Ka Zix nearby. But I guess everyone would love ganks like this one, where everyone wastes time on the support, and the ADC gets 3 free kills. Jace is already hard losing the 1v1 trade against Varus in the mid lane, but he didn't back after the second kill to get more items. That's why Jace is not giving up, and he will try once again to take him down and make a comeback in the game, and Jace is not the only problem. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.